NASA issued an urgent warning Pluto is not what you think what is NASA alluding to here are they referring to the latest findings from the New Horizons space probe which show that strange things are going on on Pluto's surface one of the explosive images actually shows an object that appears to be gliding across the surface of Pluto this raises disturbing questions as to whether some kind of previously unknown life exists on this distant world or are we dealing with a strange geological Phenomenon Pluto may be small but the stories it has to tell are big and full of surprises when Pluto's planetary status was revoked in 2006 scientists were unaware of the data from the New Horizons probe which only reached Pluto nine years later since then we have known that there is far more to this little guy than was assumed how did astronomers actually come to deny this planet which we have all somehow grown up with the status of a real planet it was like this after the disk Y of numerous other tiny planets in the Kuiper Belt they decided that we needed a boundary for what is a planet and what is a dwarf planet or trans-Neptunian object Pluto scores points for its size and round shape but the planet shares its orbit with several other objects the orbit is therefore not considered to be adjusted and this was precisely the reason why Pluto was no longer included in the list of large planets in the solar system many people on Earth think this is a shame and this decision by Astronomers caused consternation among the population worldwide. Pluto, no longer a planet many people simply couldn't imagine. It's crazy that this small planet has so many friends on Earth, and there were letters of protest to NASA famous scientists who spoke out in favor of the demotion, and even governments received letters from angry citizens demanding that Pluto be a planet again. This planet has been with us since the 1930s and has since been the conclusion of a series of nine planets, as if to advertised this in 2015 when New Horizons sent us the first real image the excluded minor planet showed us its cute face imagine it was the first real image of Pluto if you've seen the planet on blackboards or in school textbooks before they were purely artistic representations and not real images Pluto denied even the Hubble telescope a clear view of its face only New Horizons was allowed to photograph the little one as it really is colorful friendly amazingly lively and with a heart since then. The planet on the outer edge of the solar system has won over even more friends and perhaps astronomers will change their minds one day, and we will get Pluto back. The first real images of Pluto took everyone's breath away. It was a magical moment when the first data from the New Horizons probe arrived at mission headquarters in 2015. Everyone present knew that they were about to see a planet for the first time that everyone was somehow familiar with but had never seen up close the computers on. Earth put together this fascinating image from thousands of individual bits and pixels. What else the probe revealed about Pluto was a revelation that completely turned our understanding of this distant planet on its head. Pluto is much more varied, much more structured, and much more alive than planetary researchers had previously assumed. In addition, the small planet appeared to be covered in landscape forms and possibly even weather. Phenomena nobody had expected that either with every new bit. That New Horizons transmitted the blurry, mysterious world in the darkness of the Kuiper Belt became a tangible object that showed so much life that it took scientists' breath away. More and more surprises and geological wonders opened up before the researchers' eyes instead of the expected icy and crater STW and wasteland Pluto turned out to be a dynamic place with majestic icebergs, deep canyons, and smooth glacial surfaces. It took years for the countless measurement data photos and findings to make. The long journey from Pluto to Earth since 2015 we have been surprised again and again with new fascinating aspects about Pluto who is that walking on Pluto's surface it's shocking this moving image circulated in the media in 2016 but what can you see here it looks as if a person is walking across a strange honeycomb shaped snow drift you can actually see ice landscapes here but unlike on Earth these frozen surfaces are not made of water but of nitrogen and methane researchers identified the Strange object as a dirty iceberg which appears to be gliding over the surface of the ice-covered plain. The massive block of ice is most likely also made of extremely solid nitrogen. These bizarre-looking landforms revealed something very special to researchers. They now believe that there is a nitrogen reservoir several kilom below Pluto's surface in which the solid blocks form geological activity in the interior of the planet. Pushes these blocks upwards, creating the honeycombs and structures such as the apparently wandering mountain this points to a warm core of the planet and this finding alone is a sensation that could have far-reaching consequences for our understanding of Pluto. Pluto is far more active than assumed geological activity from heat and shifts in surface structures indicate a kind of aliveness that shows we have underestimated Pluto. This little guy not only has a heart but fire in it and that could even mean that there are pockets of liquid inside Pluto that Resemble oceans or magma chambers of ice, the head of the geology team of the New Horizons mission William McKinnon even compared the inner life of the dwarf planet to a lava lamp the size of Hudson Bay in Canada computer simulations showed that this impressive landscape developed over millions of years and is still extremely active today. Can you see the distinctive X on the right below the iceberg this formation was? Probably created by subble during sublimation, a substance changes directly from a solid to a gaseous state and the liquid phase disappears these processes occur. 
due to the extreme temperatures on Pluto mysterious geological processes and weather phenomena in a dead world Christmas in the snow on Pluto, does that sound crazy to you? Well, it's a fact Pluto really is a surprise. The New Horizons mission revealed fascinating aspects of the climate and seasonal changes on this planet Pluto, which orbits in the cold. Distant regions of the Kuiper Belt experiences significant seasonal variations due to its eccentric orbit and tilt. The New Horizons space probe discovered that Pluto's atmosphere, a thin layer of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide changes dramatically depending on how close or far Pluto is from the Sun. The changes affect not only the atmosphere, but also the surface conditions of the dwarf planet. One particularly remarkable aspect of the climatic dynamics is snow on Pluto. This consists mainly of frozen nitrogen and methane, unlike on Earth, where snow only forms. From water, the extremely low temperatures on Pluto cause the far more volatile gases nitrogen and methane to condense and fall as exotic snow. All these processes shape and renew Pluto's surface by covering the landscape with fresh deposits. The upheavals in turn drive other geological activity in the form of a glacial movement and possibly even cryovolcanic processes. The New Horizons research also showed that these seasonal Cycles are closely linked to atmospheric density when Pluto is. Closest to the sun, the sparse light is enough to slightly warm up the dwarf planet's atmosphere, causing it to expand slightly and rise. When Pluto moves away from the sun again, the atmosphere freezes and sinks back to the surface. This dynamic leads to a remarkable phenomenon. When Pluto's atmosphere condenses, it could literally snow with a snow consisting of nitrogen and methane, the variations in surface brightness, and the distribution of icy deposits further suggests that almost all surface. Features and landscapes on Pluto are associated with these atmospheric cycles since Pluto's mountains are not made of rock but of ice which is very dynamic in this world. The entire surface moves far more than that of our Earth. For example, what is Pluto's heart made of? Who would have thought that Pluto's heart is not just a pretty tra TR mark in addition to its prestigious appearance? This region is also one of the most exciting regions. On the planet, officially called Sputnik Plana, the region is... Named after the first artificial satellite Sputnik 1, which the Soviet Union sent into space in 1957, this large heart-shaped ice surface extends over an area of around 1,000 kilometers and consists mainly of nitrogen ice with inclusions of frozen methane and carbon monoxide. The bright, almost flawless surface surface of Sputnik Plana forms a stark contrast to the darker, more complex regions around. It geologically Sputnik PLA is a gigantic impact structure that was probably later altered by volcanic. Processes unlike typical volcanic activity on Earth where lava emerges from the Earth's interior cryovolcanism on Pluto involves icy materials emerging from the dwarf planet's interior to the surface. The heat sources in the depths of Pluto cause nitrogen and other volatile substances to heat up and push upwards where they freeze and form unique formations like this one Sputnik Plana is remarkably flat which leads researchers to conclude that the icy surface is regularly renewed by internal processes it's probably convection processes within the ice sheet that shape these landscapes. Researchers suspect that there may be an ocean of liquid water beneath the smooth ice sheet of Sputnik Plana which is kept liquid by the heat inside Pluto. Researchers doubt whether forms of life can exist in the subglacial ocean but it's not completely out of the question what role does Sharon play what hardly anyone knew before New Horizons mission is that Pluto has its own moon and not just one Sharon is Pluto's largest moon and was. Discovered in 1978 with a diameter of around 1,212 kilometers. Charon is so large that it forms a highly interesting double system with Pluto because both bodies rotate around a common center of gravity outside Pluto. Researchers now suspect that Charon is not a real moon at all, but also a dwarf planet that has somehow attached itself to Pluto. This unique constellation has profound effects on both celestial bodies. For example, the gravitational bond between Pluto and Charon leads to tidal. Forces that affect the surfaces and possibly also the internal structures of both bodies. These forces may be responsible for Pluto's warm interior and the exciting geologic activity it exhibits. Karen's influence also relates to Pluto's rotation. Both celestial bodies are bound to each other in such a way that they always face the same side. Sharon could influence part of Pluto's atmosphere by trapping ejected atmospheric particles. Sharon itself does not have a permanent atmosphere of its own, but it probably temporarily captures volatiles from Pluto's atmosphere and thus wraps itself a little in the mantle of its partner NASA issued a startling warning Pluto is not what you think this raises questions about what NASA might be alluding to are they referring to the latest findings from the New Horizons probe which reveal intriguing phenomena on Pluto's surface one of the recent images shows an object that seems to glide across Pluto prompting concerns about whether an unknown form of life might exist on this distant world or if we are.
Witnessing a unique geological phenomenon, although Pluto is small, its secrets are vast and full of surprises. When Pluto's PL planetary status was stripped in 2006, scientists lacked the data from New Horizons, which only reached Pluto nine years later. Since then, it's become clear that Pluto is far more complex than previously thought. How did astronomers come to deny Pluto's status as a planet a designation we grew? Up with the issue arose after the discovery of many tiny planets in the Kuiper belt, leading to the need for a clear boundary between what constitutes a planet and what is a dwarf planet or trans-Neptunian object Pluto, despite its size and round shape, shares its orbit with other objects causing it to be excluded from the list of major planets this decision has sparked controversy and disappointment among many on Earth leading to protests and appeals for Pluto's reclassification as a planet since the 1930s Pluto has been part of our planetary system and in 2015 New Horizons provided the first real images of Pluto revealing its true face prior depiction were artistic, not actual photographs. Even the Hubble telescope couldn't capture Pluto. Clearly, only New Horizons could reveal its colorful, lively, and heart-shaped surface. The first real images of Pluto were breathtaking, marking moment of wonder. When the data arrived at mission headquarters for the first time, we saw Pluto up close a planet. Familiar to us, but never before seen in such detail, the images composed from. Thousands of pixels revealed a planet that was much more dynamic, structured, and vibrant than previously believed Pluto showed a range of landscapes and possibly even weather phenomena turning our understanding of this distant planet upside down instead of a cold cratered wasteland Pluto proved to be a place of majestic icebergs, deep canyons, and smooth glacial surfaces over the years New Horizons data has continuously surprised. Us with new insights into Pluto a shocking image from 2016 appear to show a figure walking across a honeycomb-shaped snow drift on Pluto, although it looked like ice landscapes they were actually made of nitrogen and methane, the strange object was identified as a dirty iceberg likely composed of solid nitrogen gliding over the ice-covered plain. This discovery suggests that Pluto has a nitrogen reservoir beneath its surface pushing solid blocks upwards and creating the honeycomb formations this points to a warm interior eye and a level of geological activity. Previously underestimated Pluto's internal heat could even mean the presence of liquid pockets resembling oceans or magma chambers of ice. The head of the geology team of the New Horizons mission, William McKinnon, even compared the inner life of the dwarf planet to a lava lamp the size of Hudson Bay in Canada. Computer simulations showed that this impressive landscape developed over millions of years and is still extremely active today. Can you see the distinctive X on the right below the iceberg? This formation was probably created by subble during sublimation, a substance changes directly from a solid to a gaseous state, and the liquid phase disappears. These processes occur due to the extreme temperatures on Pluto, mysterious geological processes, and weather phenomena in a dead world Christmas in the snow on Pluto. Does that sound crazy to you? Well, it's a fact Pluto really is a surprise the New Horizons mission revealed. Fascinating aspects of the climate and seasonal changes on this planet. Pluto, which orbits in the cold distant regions of the Kuiper Belt, experiences significant seasonal variations due to its eccentric orbit, and tilt the New Horizon space probe discovered that Pluto's atmosphere a thin layer of nitrogen methane and carbon monoxide changes dramatically depending on how close or far Pluto is from the sun. The changes affect not only the atmosphere, but also the surface conditions of the dwarf planet. One particularly remarkable aspect of the climatic dynamics is snow on. Pluto this consists mainly of frozen nitrogen and methane unlike on Earth where snow only forms from water the extremely low temperatures on Pluto cause the far more volatile gases nitrogen and methane to condense and fall as exotic snow all these processes shape and renew Pluto's surface by covering the landscape with fresh deposits the upheavals in turn drive other geological activity in the form of of glacial movement and possibly even cryovolcanic processes the New Horizons research also showed that these seasonal cycles are closely linked to atmospheric density. When Pluto is closest to the sun, the sparse light is enough to slightly warm up the dwarf planet's atmosphere, causing it to expand slightly and rise. When Pluto moves away from the sun again, the atmosphere freezes and sinks back to the surface. This dynamic leads to a remarkable phenomenon. When Pluto's atmosphere condenses, it could literally snow with a snow, consisting of nitrogen and methane, the variations in surface. Brightness and the distribution of icy deposits further suggests that almost all surface features and landscapes on Pluto are associated with these atmospheric cycles since Pluto's mountains are not made of rock but of ice which is very dynamic in this world. The entire surface moves far more than that of our Earth. For example, what is Pluto's heart made of? Who would have thought that Pluto's heart is not just a pretty tra tr mark in? Addition to its prestigious appearance, this region is also one. 
Of the most exciting regions on the planet officially called Sputnik Plana, the region is named after the first artificial satellite Sputnik 1, which the Soviet Union sent into space in 1957. This large heart-shaped ice surface extends over an area of around 1,000 kilometers and consists mainly of nitrogen ice with inclusions of frozen methane and carbon monoxide, the bright, almost flawless surface. Surface of Sputnik Plana forms a stark contrast to the darker, more complex regions around it geologically. Sputnik PLA is a gigantic impact structure that was probably later altered by volcanic processes unlike typical volcanic activity on Earth where lava emerges from the Earth's interior cryovolcanism on Pluto involves icy materials emerging from the dwarf planet's interior to the surface the heat sources in the depths of Pluto cause nitrogen and other volatile substances to heat up and push upwards where they freeze and form unique formations like this one Sputnik Plana is remarkably flat which leads researchers to conclude that the icy surface is regularly renewed by internal processes it's probably convection processes within the ice sheet that shape these landscapes researchers suspect that there may be an ocean of liquid water beneath the smooth ice sheet of Sputnik Plana which is kept liquid by the heat inside Pluto researchers doubt whether forms of life can exist in the subglacial ocean but it's not completely out of the question what role does Sharon play what hardly anyone New before New Horizons mission is that Pluto has its own moon and not just one Charon is Pluto's largest moon and was discovered in 1978 with a diameter of around 1,212 kilometers Charon is so large that it forms a highly interesting double system with Pluto because both bodies rotate around a common center of gravity outside Pluto researchers now suspect that Charon is not a real moon at all but also a dwarf planet that has somehow attached itself to Pluto this unique constellation has profound. Effects on both celestial bodies, for example, the gravitational bond between Pluto and Charon leads to tidal forces that affect the surfaces and possibly also the internal structures of both bodies. These forces may be responsible for Pluto's warm interior and the exciting geologic activity it exhibits. Charon's influence also relates to Pluto's rotation. Both celestial bodies are bound to each other in such a way that they always face the same side. Charon could influence part of Pluto's atmosphere. By trapping ejected atmospheric particles, Charon itself does not have a permanent atmosphere of its own, but it probably temporarily captures volatiles from Pluto's atmosphere and thus wraps itself a little in the mantle of its partner.